one of the busiest business hubs in Asia. A city known for its constant transformations, its multi-ethnic population and the Merlion, of course. It may be a business traveler's frequent destination, but I'm in Singapore for a fab holiday. And I started it in an unusual fashion by hitting the marina. The marina at Keppel Bay is a choice destination for those into luxury yachts. An exclusive lifestyle centered around luxury sailing is what's promoted here. And part of that is taking a few privileged like me sailing around the city. The Admiral was now taking me around Singapore in style. And like my friend from Marina at Keppel Bay told me, there is much to be enjoyed on board. You know, I've never really thought of Singapore as a place where I could go out on a yacht and sip champagne on a beautiful day. Yes. People usually, you know, forget that this is an activity that could be done when you're here on, you know, leisure or business. Exactly. Actually, in, in Singapore, I mean, it's an island country, so there's a lot of water. But not many people understand that there are islands that you can go and hop around. Mm. And at the same time, there's a very nice skyline that you can see, whether it's day or night. With a yacht like that, the choice is actually many. Um, for us, we provide something that is a bit unusual. Um, for example, we can actually allow to customize a, a service to bring in a spa on board. In other words, massage, manicure, pedicure, uh, to give some comfort to the lady, and the, and the man can get some relaxing shoulder massage, for example. And at the same time, you know, there are some that we did enjoy fine food and so on and so forth. We bring in chef on board to cook for you. Some can be as, as high as a Michelin three star chef to cook for you. So what kind of people do you see coming in on a cruise like this? Is it people who just you know, want to enjoy Singapore or do you see business happening on board as well? More and more people are very busy nowadays and they try to combine business and leisure together. So we see more and more tourists that bring their family along while they're meeting their business associate at the uh, place like that. The, the family can enjoy the rest of the cruise while the, while the fa other family member can strike a business deal on board. Sure, this is the perfect way to mix business with pleasure. You can easily hire a luxury yacht like this one and it will come with spacious bedroom cabins, sitting areas and a kitchenette too. sail, you have the option of docking at the over 50 islets that surround Singapore. Or you could just admire the city's beautiful skyline from a distance. When you've had enough of the sun and the sea, you can always head towards a city hotel to relax in.
my pick today was the Scarlet, a tiny boutique hotel that beckons you with its sensual interiors. Cozy sitting areas and the suites of course. The five suites in the 80 room hotel follow different themes including passion and splendor. I, by the way, was feeling lavish. The thick silk curtains, rich gold hues and comfortable antique furniture put you in the mood to indulge instantly. Even in the bathroom, you have a mess to pamper you. Well, amongst the many other lavish things that this suite has, uh, the bed is one of the bigger ones. Simply because it has a horsehair mattress which is so expensive that only celebrities like Tom Cruise can afford it. If the Scarlet is too quaint for you, there are more options to enjoy your fab holiday in Singapore. Next, we visit the icon of luxury hospitality, the Raffles Hotel. And we spend an evening admiring the Singapore skyline.